Every day, almost 100,000 commercial flights crisscross the world's skies. Ensuring they take off and touch down safely on pristine runways requires skill, dedication, an array of specialist equipment and a surprising number of glass beads. So, how do they do it? This is Boston Logan, one of the busiest airports on America's east coast. It has six runways, totaling almost 13 kilometres of asphalt. Keeping those runways in perfect condition is an enormous task for operations manager Chuck Crescenzo. A Boeing 737 can weigh 71 tonnes at touchdown. It hits the runway with more momentum than a herd of charging elephants. The only thing that stops it skidding out of control is friction between the tyre and the asphalt. With Logan's runways handling two aircraft every minute, it's vital to keep checking there's enough grip to stop a slip. But it's hard to find time. This is a job for the night crew. And Logan's secret weapon, Tammy Carter and her customised station wagon. A retractable wheel mounted beneath the car measures the friction between tyre and runway, providing vital data for airlines using Logan. The problem for Tammy is how to simulate the wet weather conditions that so many planes have to land in. The solution is a 580 litre tank in the back of the car, which sprays a 1mm film of water just ahead of the test wheel. Only when she's happy with the printouts can she move on. One of Tammy's biggest headaches is rubber residue on the runway, but that's almost impossible to avoid. When a plane lands at over 240 kilometres per hour, its wheels bear the brunt, and that means one thing. Tyre marks. On average, 550 grams of rubber are left smeared across the runway every landing. The build-up of rubber would become a major hazard. If it wasn't for the Cyclone 4006 runway cleaner. In the summer months when Logan is at its busiest, it's in operation five days a week. Armed with a 102 centimetre diameter aluminium scrubbing head, it scours the runway, blasts it with water at 276 million pascals, and then hoovers it all up before depositing this steaming heap of former plane tyres back at base. <laughs> 